Sometimes when you're trying to make your lines more efficient, you end up with the perfect solution. Other times you end up with a traffic headache like the one on screen now. And no, the game isn't paused, this is actually running. Find out how I ended up in this situation by watching this video. Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to From Steam to Electricity here on Transport Fever 2. We are still yet to see actual Steam here on the network, but that may change today. We'll, we shall see. Before we get started properly, um, at the time of recording this, episode 2 of this series has just gone out. Uh, so if you're wondering, anyone who has commented, if you're wondering why it seems I've ignored you in videos, I haven't. Um, I will address most of the comments now actually because there's been some really 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 useful advice that I'm definitely going to be taking on board for this series moving forward. So um, various people have commented on Reddit and also on YouTube and the most useful ones if I can find them again. So things like trying to limit the number of lines. So the method that I've been using like here for example splitting everything up into multiple lines that's fine and all but it could actually be made a lot easier so for example uh, the logs here could get brought up to here on a single line and then the planks could get brought back down to here on a single line and then that vehicle just has to run empty back down here makes a lot of sense um, I believe it was I'm gonna try and, and actually credit the people for, for giving us these ideas um, Blue Chang 08 with the suggestion on that one, I believe. So thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, with the two leatherhead routes, you could get the same benefit from just one route running from the log source to the log mill with a stop at the leatherhead west truck stop. I'm assuming you mean on the return journey, which makes a lot of sense. To so bring the logs up here, turn it into planks, bring it back down. That does make a lot of sense. The best one, though, is um, Sasprey. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Who has given a very, very long explanation as to how to actually get lines profitable. And it's really, really useful information. So don't check the balance was one of the first things. So don't use this as a guide. Actually go on here and have a look at the finances tab. Which, yeah, that's actually very useful. And you can reduce the time scale so you can see exactly how profitable your lines are. Or where they were making money and where they were losing money. I guess this is really useful if your line suddenly goes from being profitable to not being profitable. You can have a look and see when that change occurred. And then think back to what it is you might have done that caused that. That's very useful information. That was just part of it though. Because the second part of it was how to distribute lines. And this is stuff. I'm going to read this out and it's going to sound really obvious. But for some reason I never really clocked it as I was doing this. <clears throat> but basically look at your industry. So here's your logs. Look at your production, and you've got to try and match that number as close as you can. So 172 out of 600, or 171 now out of 600, it's not great. Not great at all. Um, so you, try, you need to try and get that number up as close as possible to this and maximize the amount of, um, amount of investment. Now that's great and all, but these trucks are way too small. They only carry four at a time, and you can see here there's one every 17 seconds. So if we look... At this there's barely enough time this right now is wasted time I'll admit that you should always have a queue of vehicles but right now this will stop and we'll count how long it actually stops for before it starts leaving again so you've stopped one two three four four seconds roughly so we can't have a, a frequency of less than four seconds because you will end up with a queue now that might sound like a good thing but then you've got vehicles just sat Remember what I said, I think it was last episode or the episode before. Vehicles stopped at a station only spend 40% of their maintenance costs. Vehicles queued behind a vehicle stopped at a station still spend 100% of their maintenance costs. So you end up with this guy here. If he gets caught up by this one, he's just going to be sat there still spending 100% of his maintenance with nothing to show for it. Which isn't ideal. So you want to try and get the number as close to the stopping time as possible without exceeding it. So right now, 17 seconds, that's that's not too bad. This line here needs to start making money again, by the way. I have a couple of ideas for how to do that. Something else that I noticed just before I started recording is this here's popped up. So that could be useful. We might plug that in. We might end up with two lines running from here, one to there, one to there, both bringing planks back to over here. 
And then the first thing I'm going to do today, which I think was also suggested, but I can't remember by whom, um, was to build some more shortcuts. So a road from here, for example, over to here would cut off this entire distance here and would actually increase the uh, the rate here whilst reducing the frequency, which is perfect. Kills birds with stones and all that. Um, Susbury also, excuse me, I've got hiccups, um, also uh, talked about the final leg of the production chain. So Leatherhead here, for example. Actually, that's a really bad example. Let's use one that's actually being used. Scarborough, for example. 43 out of 43 on tools. So it's basically full on tools. We don't need to bring any more tools over here. So that will affect the output over here. So you see, we've got 43 out of 100 here. But we're bringing in enough, arguably, to make 100 still. So that can end up costing us because uh, we can end up with stuff being stored here and then that will kick back further down the chain and could end up costing us there as well. So it's something to keep an eye on. That's where Line Manager comes in useful because it automatically adjusts based on demand, which is very useful. Uh, and I will have it. I've got it switched off at the moment, but I will have it switched on again. I just wanted to generate some funds so I could actually do stuff in today's episode. So here's the plan. Tools. We're making lots of tools. We've got two towns here that require tools. We've also got tools being made over here that uh, can be brought back down the line. Uh, where am I looking here? We've also got tools potentially being made here as well. The railway, hopefully, is going to be up and running soon. I think I said that already. But yeah, um, that's one on the plan. We've also got steel factory. That's uh, steel factory? What am I talking about? Steel mill. You wouldn't think I used to be an engineer, would you? You just you just wouldn't think it. This moron doesn't know what he's talking about. I imagine a lot of people are saying. Um, so yeah, tools here. We've got tools down this way. And we've got tools over here. We've got two towns that accept tools. Stone Market has four out of 75 right now. 75 here, 43 over here. That's uh, 118, I believe, if I've done my maths correctly. And we've got these factories here that can produce, that one produces 100. This one produces 200. And the one down here also produces 200. I'm just checking I did see that one right, yeah. So that's what, 500? And we've got a hundred and something. So we need more towns that accept tools. But right now we can create a production line. And actually the the advice I was given is exactly what I've done over here with Warwick. So we've got grain brought over here, turned into food, gets brought back. And if I look at Warwick, 36 out of 36, we've got full saturation. And this only makes a hundred. And you can see there, 36 out of a hundred. So actually there's quite a lot that's just sat here not being used. Um, which is also something that perhaps needs to be addressed. Now as it so happens... Um, we have other towns over here, Leatherhead, Stafford, and I thought there was another one, but maybe there isn't, that also require food. So we could, in theory, start bringing food from here at Warwick over to Stafford. That's a possibility. Uh, or maybe even over further to places like Leatherhead, but that might be a little ways off. This is where the, the dawn of the train comes in, but we'll see about that. But yeah, that's, that's an idea. So... Thank you everyone for commenting on the previous episode. Uh, that's really, really, really been very helpful. Uh, sometimes like you just want to build things that look pretty and you don't really think about the mechanics of the game. So it's nice to have someone just lean over your shoulder every now and then and go, that's good and all, but have you considered doing this? Uh, and that, funny enough, is exactly what I've considered doing. So, first thing is we're going to try and reroute. Where am I? Over here. We're going to try and reroute these trucks here and get them to their destination just a little bit quicker. So we're going to build a road around like this. We try and keep it cheap whilst also not building massive gradients. And in fact, this is pretty flat. So maybe I could just go straight gun ho across. Where's a good place to build it? Over there is logical. But I think actually, were I to do this and then do something like this. Now, if I check the line here, yeah, automatically rerouted. Perfect. And I think the other thing I'm going to do is follow the advice that I was given and actually change this. So here, you're going to drop off and you're going to pick up planks. And then here, you're going to run back empty. Cool. 
which means line two here we're going to remove but before we do that we're going to take all of these and we're going to stick them onto log one and we're going to remove that line so now if i check this it says 171 i feel like that should change maybe no i find it very hard to believe that that hasn't changed considering the uh, massive influx of vehicles we've just given it and also the um, the fact the route is now shorter. Interesting. I have done this correctly, haven't I? I believe I have. So it should, on the way up, go straight past. Yep. I think there was a suggestion to build another bypass here in Leatherhead as well, and I think it's for this section here, which is also a very good idea. I'm going to unpause the game for this bit. Um... So if I build this kind of across like so, I'm going to leave the line open there so we can see the impact that it has. And it should be a case of, boom, there we go. Now the only annoying thing is on the way up, you can kind of see it already, vehicles are getting interrupted by ones turning into the, uh, the depot here. That's something that we might have to just accept for now. But one other thing I do want to do, and I think the way to do it is to build a new truck stop and actually maybe even have one this side and then one this side and relocate this line to the one on this side. That's not a bad shout either. Um, the other advice I got, again, lots of advice. I'm very, very appreciative. Was that these vehicles here, the, the horse-drawn wagons, they're never going to make enough really to offset the cost of the maintenance for these stations which kind of makes sense but while it works we'll do it <laughs> like uh i'm not i'm not going to dispute any advice given by anybody right now because it is all incredibly valuable and like i said i'm very appreciative but i think for ones like this i am going to do that and i'm going to remove that one so now you go 226 13 seconds lovely we're going to have a huge loss for a second, though, while these all reroute themselves. But immediately, it's all flowing back. Now, that opens up this stop to be used for this. And then planks from here can get brought over to here. Or, if there's anywhere else for them, which I don't actually think there is right now. Um, I was hoping... There is this machines factory over here, though. So, we could potentially, from this... Uh, build a new line that comes up to here and then grab some steel from down here or alternatively over here but there's no iron ore near here I oh, know there is there and there's coal okay gears are whirring and then we could potentially get the steel from here up to here and then that's more tools that can then go to other places it's all starting to make sense now it's all starting to make sense now I think I might have to change the title of this episode it was going to be called all or nothing but um, I don't think there's much jeopardy in stake <laughs> right now. I think we're actually sort of handling ourselves quite well, dare I say it. It's probably going to come back and bite me on the backside now I've said that. But yeah, for now, I think we've got um, we've got a good setup going on here. So I'm going to stick you there. Like I said, there are some absolute geniuses out there that play this game. Um, they know everything. Every single, like... You know, one and zero. They just, they're on it. Right. So we're going to do that, that, that. Which creates a pretty roundabout route. Well, I think that works. Again, Leatherhead West is going to get very busy uh, in the not too distant future. But I think the two here should be enough to keep things moving. If necessary, we can always add a third one. And I'm saying that very aware of the fact that this actual traffic starting to develop so we could potentially end up with a bit of gridlock here once we get one-way systems this is turning into a one-way system for sure you can already see like the ones here turning left if i could force it to go that way which i might be able to do by reconfiguring this one slightly or just remove this road would be a way of doing it too um but yeah, that would be cool. Right, anyway. Logs. Planks. 
and nothing. And you are technically logs, because that's the first thing you carry. Leather head. And I could have just kept the old line and renamed it, thinking of, or rerouted it, thinking about it, but never mind. I don't actually know if you were recolored. Yeah, you look as though you might have been. Okay, so that's set up. We just need to sort out the traffic over here. So what line is it that's causing us problems? It's this plank line. Let's just keep you pinned for a second. There you go. Force a reroute. And if I just remove that, that, and then temporarily all of this that's preferable actually that works keeps most of the things moving in the right direction although we still got two here that turn left because they're annoying um do we have oh we do i won't be able to do that oh i will be able to do that there oh there you go then that should keep traffic separate as well. So it should be this lane here is right turn only, or maybe oh, uh, if I had the no, I don't have them yet. The um, asymmetric roads that would have been useful. But I guess traffic can still use the other lanes here to go where they need to go. Oh, someone invent the traffic light already. Traffic is is not advisable. That's something else that you really need to avoid. And I don't even need someone in the comments to tell me that one. That's something I already know. Right, we need as many of these as we can afford. Which apparently right now isn't many. Or we could start nabbing from the other line, actually. Let's just do that as a Kickstarter. Let's just grab, like... I can't remember how you multi-select vehicles now. Uh, also, I don't want to select 22 vehicles. That's not what I wanted at all. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to send all of you to over here. Now, this line should start getting some stuff. I hope. There we go. So now, yeah, shipment. And then transport. So shipment, I think, is... It's been sent to the, the stop, and then transport is how much of that has actually been transported. <clears throat> so we're starting to see some actual stuff now, which is good. So the, you'll be getting planks soon, and then those planks will get brought over here, and now we need to decide what we're doing with these. And actually, I'm starting to think already that a train might be better. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, you can almost hear that <laughs> it was, as it was developing. This very much needs rebuilding. I think a big like logistics stuff here would be good, although the town would then swallow it up, so that's not as good. Definitely, though, planks from here over to here, and then tools can get brought back, and that's leatherhead sorted, and then a few machine uh, not mach tools, sorry, machines, and then some down here into Scarborough, and then Scarborough would, could get fully saturated and actually start growing, which would be very exciting, um, because Scarborough is kind of cut off right now. I feel like we need to do something to, to alleviate that. And then also Stone Market, of course, would get supplied. So, next thing on the agenda. Uh, where's that iron ore mine gone? There. So, this to here. This to here. Easier said than done, admittedly. But mainly because it's running empty on the way back. That's the big problem right now. But again, I think that's just something you have to accept. With this sort of thing. So let's get a new road built along here. Wow, that's a huge expense. Why is that so expensive? So that being 28,000, that's kind of understandable. The other bit though, not quite sh not quite sure. Build it in small bursts. There we go. Uh, where am I going? Over this way. So actually building this... Yeah, that's definitely not advisable. And I've got to loop it round, which actually isn't the worst. 
Whoa, where's that money gone? <laughs> Whoa. That's a huge drop. That is probably all of this starting to take effect. Oh, yeah, no, that's gridlocked. We need to move that. These these lines are one of our biggest earners as well, so that's a mega problem. Um, what if I built another stop on the inside? No, that wouldn't work. What we need is vehicles to go in one way and out the other. That's that's what we need. Is there a way to do that? I guess if I moved it over here and had all the vehicles come down this way and in and then through and out again, but then you've got the problem of this junction over here becomes bad, basically. Um, the other thing is we just have separate stops. So one here, one here, and... The, you know, it'll teleport from one to the other. That's that's a way. That might be what we end up having to do, you know. At least until we can uh, alleviate this slightly. Hey, you can already see where the problem starts. And actually, the real problem is this. The turning left out. If we didn't have that, it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. So, oh damn it, I didn't catch it in time. What we need to do is move this stop to over here. I think that's uh, a good plan to start with. Give me the money, come on. Because we lose money every time something gets stuck in traffic, we just lose money. Hand over fist. Are you absolute... Right, hang on. Pause. Borrow. So we've maxed out the loan for this. Maybe this is all or nothing after all. Right, and we're going to do... Actually, no. That's a terrible idea. Because then they have to do a really sharp U-turn. And that slows everything down. Yeah, we need a one-way system. How do you create a one-way system before one-way roads are invented? I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but that's where we're at. Because two, two stops here is a little inconceivable. So we do need people to, uh, to use... Oh, man. I'm trying to think of words now as well. We need people to, to... We need these trucks. No, it's not even people. We need these trucks to follow a one-way system. So we can't have them coming in. Say, for example, this stop here was moved over this side. We can't have them come in this way and then loop round. We need them to come in from this side, use one of the, the two birds, and then leave in the correct direction again. So all three lines that use this would come out this way we need to force them we could use waypoints actually for that that could work but then you're kind of you're making a rod for your own back a little bit with that I have an idea I think it's terrible but we're gonna go with it I need it this way. If you're shouting at me in the comments right now, believe me, I hear you. I'm shouting at me too. Right. Like this. And then if I put... These might not even get used, but just a waypoint there and a waypoint there. Now let's grab this one. Manage line. So on the way back, instead of going to west, you go here. Fully unload. Do that. But, actually, have I built this the wrong way around? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. 
if I do that. There you go. But then after this, you also need to go that way. Okay. This could be really stupid. Logs 2. Instead of Leatherhead West, you're going to go here. Do that, do that. Do that. And then um, you're going to come in like this. And then on the way out, like that. Actually, when you come in, you should be able to just do that. There you go. Okay. And then planks. Um, so you're not going to go to Low the Head West anymore. You're going to go here. And you're going to load up on planks. And again, just use whichever one's free. And you're set up and good to go. Right. Excellent. Which means we can now remove this. We can also downgrade this one back like so. And then this one here is going to get an upgrade. And I think this one here, though it probably doesn't need it. I think we're just going to do that for now and see how this works. Probably terribly. And now everything's running empty as well. So we're just going to, we're going to take a massive hit on this for a little bit anyway while it all sorts itself out. Yeah, we also got this going on, which I guess it's going to sort itself out as well. We could just sell some vehicles as well to clear things up. We'll see. But yeah, we've got extra space now. We've got a one-way system that kind of should sort things out, I hope. Um, we do have passenger traffic coming down here as well. So maybe if we did increase this one too, then the passengers should go through the middle, I hope. Maybe. Um, we'll see. But yeah, things are moving somewhat. I don't really know what's going to happen. I guess we can keep extending it out this way and just rebuild this road. That's an option. Uh, and actually, I've just downgraded this road, but I think we do need it upgraded still for left turns. Maybe. Although it might not do what I want it to do because of the fact there's three roads that come off of this. We'll see. Oh, wow, that's a huge drop. I did not see that. At least it's downhill and not uphill. Right now, at least, everything's running smoothly. So that's good. All right, you're full. You're full. How come you're smaller than that one? Don't know. Yeah, everything's there. It just needs to be transported now, which it will do in just a moment. Are you full? Yes, you're full. So you, this, this line should now start making money, hopefully. There we go. It's coming the right way. And then consumers, yes, yeah, Scarborough Tools. Right. So, on that note, we now need a new line from here that comes up to here. But before we do that, we need to finish what we were actually doing over here, which is... Um, getting the iron ore and the coal running. It definitely feels like this is going to be a two-part of this project. So let's build that there. We're going to skirt as close to this as we can. Like so. Like so. This is expensive. It's very expensive. I think I've just spent way more than I should have. Again, if you're yelling at me in the comments, I can only apologize. So now I'm really tempted to build loops. So like one here um, for the iron ore and then one over here somewhere for the coal and then have the steel load up separately. But actually, I want the coal line here to be what brings some steel back as well, I think. And then another steel line over here. So I think what I'm getting from this is steel from here is no longer going to get brought this way. Or maybe it will, but not as much. 
But yeah, steel here as well. So I think if we bring steel from here over to here on the original coal line and then it comes back this way empty. And then that steel can be daisy chained over to here. And then somehow around into this. Or from here it gets brought up to here. And then machines get brought back and that's how it gets to stone market. That's a possibility too. Um, we'll see. I, I think right now the priority is just getting this bit set up and then we'll worry about the rest. So in terms of stops, I think one stop, and I think we actually go for that one-way system again, you know. We build it like this. Um, but maybe with a bit more... Just hit play for a second. Fast forward. If I could build it... Oh wow, I don't even have 6,000 to spend. There we go. I know if I did this... So that does connect. So that's good. Just need quite a lot of money to build these. These are expensive, these things. As you'd expect. Oh, build the uh, street access first. Kill my money. It's coming. It is happening. I think we are still making money. It's just we've had a lot of expenses and a lot of rerouting. And it does add up. So I think if we do something like this, do that, put a waypoint, oh, can't even afford a waypoint, two grand for a waypoint mine, what are they doing? How deep are those foundations? There we go. Right, and now we need just one for each of these. So yeah, the iron ore is going to run back empty. Which is going to be a slight problem. Where's cheap to build this? Over here maybe? That's 53. That's 56 down here. Does it get cheaper? It doesn't really. So I think 53 is the hit. It's just what you have to do. Get that one in. And then the iron ore... Is technically... Uh, done ready to go coal is going to be a slightly more expensive one and this one I'm actually tempted just to do this with it for reasons that will hopefully become clear soon give me some money game there this is set up like this so that the one so yeah sorry words it'll come out of here It'll run down past the grain mill to over here. And then when it loops back, it'll go up via Cockermouth Annex and then back here. So it's so that when it comes down this road here, it can then turn and access it pretty much immediately. Let's just put that back on normal speed. The steel from that is then just going to get brought up here. Oh, it's technically going there and then there, which is a bit dumb actually now i say it like that so maybe we'll just build a new road from here over to here and drop it off direct i think for now though let's just use as many existing lines as we can just to try and save a little bit of expense and then over to here so first of all you carry coal you then stop over here you drop off that coal, you pick up steel. You then bring that steel over here and you drop it off. Right, so you are coal cockermouth. There we are, and you can just be black. Actually, I think this black might work better for coal. Looks more like a coal colour. Uh, now we've got the iron ore one to do. And this is going to be the loss leader, I think. Purely because of the fact that... It's such a, a, a roundabout route and it does return empty. That's not iron ore colour. That's more of an iron ore colour, I think. Maybe. And you are... 
cockamouth. And just to make sure, iron ore on the way up, nothing on the way back, and you go wherever there's a spot for you. I'm hoping here it does form like a roundabout effect as well. That would be nice. Okay, we need to generate funds to actually buy the vehicles for this. And I think for this line here as well, for line manager's sake, we might actually need a new depot, which is going to get built over here. Wondering if it's easier to use trams for this sort of thing. I don't really think it is, though. I think that's a bit of a, a really dumb suggestion, to be honest. All right, speed up time. I need two of these just to get this kick in. There we go. Now if I check this, we should have suppliers. Perfect. So these are both 400. Even though it's actually 600. So we need to get these lines up to 600, which is easier said than done. Um, again, train would be perfect for that, but we don't have train. So that'll do for this episode. That's the uh, the start of all of this. I'm also noticing that the grain here, both of these just happen to run past grain farms on their journey. And there just so happens to be places over here that accept grain. So we could, in theory, get something set up where here it stops, loads up with grain, drops it off here as it picks up the iron ore, and then a new line brings it over here. It's just there's nowhere to take the alcohol right now because I think the nearest food processing, yeah, it's all the way over there. Um, same with this one. It could stop here, pick up grain, bring it over here, and then we pick up the grain here, bring it over here for livestock. But I don't think there's a... Oh, there's one over here. But again, that's a long way away. That's where, again, trains are the... Trains of the future, man. They are so good. Anyway, that'll do for this episode. Between episodes, uh, I am recording the next episode straight after this one, so I haven't got a huge amount of time to think. But I'm going to have a quick look. A at... How this has got... Oh, yeah, no, I know exactly how this has got blocked up again. So that needs to be upgraded. And I think this one might need to be as well, actually. Just to get things running smoothly. That's not, that's not cheap, though. That's not cheap at all. That's actually very quite expensive. But yeah, that should start running again. And then a traffic light here at some point might work too. Either that or we just, you know, build a bridge or a tunnel or something stupid to try and get things moving. Which is not going to be the uh, the most ideal way of doing it. Can I... Right. Just for a second. Let's try and make a bit... One, two, three, four, five. You now run on coal. One, two, three, four, five. You now run on iron ore. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You now don't exist. I know that's counterintuitive to what we're supposed to be doing. But hopefully it's freed up a little bit of space here. It hasn't. It just hasn't. Um... It really is one of these things, once it gets blocked, it stays blocked, doesn't it? What's going on is this. So you shouldn't be coming this way. You should be going... Let's pause for a second. I'm going to sort this off camera. Let's end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for all the suggestions in the comments. It's greatly appreciated. Um, hopefully everything will work out based on that advice, because it was very, very good advice indeed. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and of course if you're enjoying the series so far drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes if you haven't already subscribed the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed the channel thank you for your continued support I think we've got more people who aren't subscribed watching right now so if you are not a subscriber hit that subscribe button click the bell notification so you don't miss an upload uh, and keep coming back for more of this once again thanks for watching have a great evening and until next time I will see you soon